So now, in the West, as we know, there was an attack on the Christchurch in New Zealand. Uh, and we also had attacks in uh, London, where I live, very close to my house, in Finsbury Park, where a man uh, drove a van into a group of Muslims, killing one person and injuring many others. And there was many other attacks that were planned, but they did not happen. And we know that. In Europe, the far right are growing. Uh, and why are they growing? Because they benefit, like, you know, like we have ISIS, you know. They, I believe ISIS and the far right are business partners. Why? Because when ISIS carries out an attack in the name of Islam, uh, which has nothing to do with Islam, the far right use this and say, look, this is what Islam is. You see, they want to come, they want to take over, they want to rape, they want to take over your land, all this propaganda. So ISIS and far right love each other because when the far right attack the, uh, the mosques, ISIS say, look what they're doing to us. See, we need to attack back. So they both live off each other. But what we say is that just because the non-Muslims or certain enemies uh, uh, like those who don't like us because non-Muslims are not the same there are good and there are bad we're talking about the bad ones you know so those who attack us they are not our teachers we don't look at them and say they killed our innocent brothers and sisters we have to go and kill the innocent brothers and sisters it doesn't work like that our teacher is the Prophet Sallallahu not Bush or anybody else you know in a nutshell what I would say is the best way to combat this is our akhlaq our manners how we convey our, how, how we portray ourselves because I can come here and give you Quran, Hadith, Quran, Hadith, left, right, centre yeah like uh, Zakir Naik you know just boom, like a computer but the issue is that people you can people might forget like forgive you for an act that you do but they will never forget how you made them feel so that's why it's important that I believe good akhlaq, good manners you showing yourself as a Muslim kindness gener generosity honesty this is what we should be known for. If we look at Indonesia, Indonesia came to Islam not through kind, some kind of jihad. They came there because there was trades, uh, trades that was happening between the merchants. And they would see how honest these Muslims were. And they said, look, this, these people are very honest people. That alone caused the whole entire nation to come to Islam. So yes, we need to do dawah. We need to tell people about Islam, etc. But with the far right, Islamophobia, first hand, we need to talk to people because people are scared. They don't know. They're looking on the TV and saying, Muslims want to kill us. So how do we combat that? We talk to them. This is why da'wah is so important. We convey the message to them, explain to them, and change that narrative. And we have social media. Social media is, is in our hands, inshallah. And we can do that to combat that, inshallah.